What is the salary of a chief cook on the ship? This is how the overall galley looks. From this area, there is my favorite area, which is the provision store, because here we have all the goodies. What's good, you guys? Welcome back to another day from the beautiful high seas. This is another special episode of Life at Sea, season three, because it was on popular demand that I make a tour of the galley of the ship. So I'm going to do that today and make you all meet the cook, the second cook, and you know tell you why the kitchen and the cooks are the most important people on board for source of happiness. Let's go. Just for your good knowledge, the galley is located inside the accommodation of the ship. This is the bridge, as you see. This is where we do all our stuff. We are presently at anchorage, and the accommodation lies from the top all the way to the bottom, and the galley is in the alpha deck. So, let's proceed. Let me first start by showing you the mini kitchen of my workplace, which is this microwave and the cookie box center. So, this is the bridge. And uh, yeah, of course, I have to show you the main thing, the small provision store we have here, which is here we have all the goodies, guys, and the cup noodles. So this is what we make in the microwave. So this was my mini kitchen of the bridge. Now let's proceed to the main kitchen. Hey, deck. Let's go. Before that, always remember, in more especially if you drink, you are out. So no alcohol on board. Okay, let's proceed. This is the dining saloon. We will come here shortly. And this is where we have our food. But first, the important part, let's enter the galley and start our journey. Right now, the cook and the second cook, they are busy preparing something, I will divide the video in two parts. One part will be the tour of the entire galley, which will be done by the chief cook and me. And the second part will be the question answer session, where we'll ask the myth breaking questions, which are, like I told you, the struggles, the routine, the salary, etc. So stay tuned. Let's introduce you to the chief cook of the ship. Chief. Hi, hello, I'm chief cook. From Mus Cape Town. My name is Abdul Tahir and I'm from Calcutta, India. Thank you, Abdul. And let's introduce to the second in command. Hello, hi. My name is Kidwai Rahman. I am from Jharkhand, Ranchi. So, guys, what what we're gonna do is I'm gonna ask Chief to show us around first that what all is there in the galley, Chief. Okay, so how what all you prepare here, what are the equipments? So we'll start by that. Alright, so you're in charge, Chief. You take command. Let's, so, of let's course, start. we'll start with our main thing, okay. which is hot plate. This yes. is the most important thing mm -hmm. of the galley, where we cook everything, like uh, all the daily dishes. And the second is, uh, we have the oven. But this is not an oven. This is safe to eat food. This is air convent. Okay. So, it is more supersonic than oven. Okay. It is good for food. So, it is not like the conventional oven. oven. It's oven. But different type. Different type. Different it's type. Air type is there. Air type. So okay. the food is safe here. All right. And the second thing we have a fat uh, frying pan. This okay. Is, uh, also a modern thing where we can cook uh, like lots, like ten or fifteen omelette together, French toast and etc. Pancake and this. One. Okay. Okay. Then we have a this is flour mixer. All right. Which we can make uh, with the flour. Any item is there related to like bread, cake. Some type of pastries is there. It makes it easier for us. Okay, now we have last but not the least. This is deep fat fry. This is one you can tell it's very dangerous also, but you have to take care. So, this every work is very easy by frying all the items. It makes within a minute. So, but we have to take care. One of the most, most dangerous things that. Okay. okay. So, after. Yes, yeah, so this this is where we get the french fries from. Yes, right? french fries, french fries. chicken nuggets, any kind of frying items. Fry fry. But we have to change the oil also in how much fry we are doing. All right. It's related. Right. Right. The condition of the oil is being worst, so we have to change. Because you said, because it is dangerous, 
that is why we have the firefighting system on system top of on it top of especially on, related for this one especially for this big cause of fire big cause of fire all right all right now we have a uh, this uh, table is there for cutting this is our green board all right for the vegetables all the green item this we have a color code uh, board is there okay we have a four five color board uh, color code is there okay. red stand for all meat and everything like you can see here all the color codes stand for this one if white is there for dairy product and if the brown board is there then it means cook product and if blue is there then means fish seafood product and yellow is stand for poultry so guys that was the chief who explained to us the majority of the equipments but here we have a section where is for the cleaning right rehman yes. so what all we have here uh, this is food grinder food okay. grinder uh, yeah you have your extra food uh, without bones you can put and grind here okay uh, and automatically going to open see okay uh, this is for dishwashing for sink and this is for my uh, dishwashing machine uh. okay automatic dishwashing Auto automatic dishwasher you can put plate and put like that and close on button this automatically started huh? perfect this After is after 2 3 minutes will mm -hmm. be complete wash then we will open remove will let fully dry all right thank you thank you rehman so guys this is how the overall galley looks from this area there is my favorite area which is the provision store because here we have all the goodies and we start by one section let's start with this section so as you see here guys we have got all the cereals as you see oatmeal corn flakes and this is my favorite the cold rolled oats good for protein and workout and some small cakes many juices we have received recently looks spectacular and i'm already feeling thirsty but of course i have to ask the chief cook permission to take anything from here because everything is accounted for so it's not like you come in and take anything and go so you have to take permission from the chief then we have the biscuit section now you see like chocolate chip biscuits oreo biscuits all of this are stored here and this is this is the place from where we take the biscuits up to the bridge where i showed you the biscuit box so it's happening from here and then we've got popcorns and uh, coffee very important for all crew then uh, yeah some canned food also like you see crab meat fish meat and for Indian specially I'm going to show you that we've got many types of dal over here as you see moong dal and uh, rajma this is uh, I don't know what's called in English but uh, okay it's called black eye bean if you see let me zoom in black eye bean it's called rongi in in the, in, uh, in Hindi so all this over here also chana as you see chanas and many things many things in this section we have got like masalas for biryani for uh, tandoori rogan josh so all these masalas are kept over here so that is more or less this section over here and let's move on to the other side where you'll see why vegetarian food is also available on the ship we've got a range of sauces over here in line and uh, you can see we've got mayonnaise, tartar sauce, sun-dried tomatoes, and barbecue sauce. See, so ah, oh, this is the this is my favorite one, huh? the syrup, Hershey syrup, strawberry. Put it in milk and have it beautiful. A lot of calories, but some fun is always required. Since we've got many Indians on this ship, we've got this. Spice buttermilk, which is also like known as lassi in India. So this is uh, good for cooling up your body, just for your knowledge. Yeah. Anyway, so we've got three spaces over here: vegetable room, meat room, and the fish room. And they're all temperature controlled. So you see, for the vegetable room right now is two degrees, meat room minus eighteen, fish room minus sixteen. So before entering, we always have to wear the cold equipment, especially for the meat room and the fish room because minus 18 you can catch a cold very easily so i'm gonna wear a cold protection suit and then enter to show you all what all vegetables we have let's go so rehman will also be entering the vegetable room 
and we'll enter with him to see what all we have here. So this is all the vegetables, yeah, Rehman. South Indian dish for Indians. Ah, uh, beautiful. So I prepare little bit cutting vegetables. Yes. All right. All right. So all these are like uh, fruits also over here: pineapple, grapes, oranges, capsicum, apple, apples also. So everything uh, is fresh, right, Rehman? Yeah, everything. Is everything right, fresh. Yeah. We take from every port. Yes. Also, you can see we've got milk stored around, yogurt. And uh, yeah, also more milk. So you see, there are many vegetables. So vegetarians who are scared of, you know, that will they get meat only on the ship? It's not true. Especially on if you have chief cook from India, it's very helpful. He can make dal and you know various sabji. So I'm happy. I'm going to go out now and show you the meat room. Try to show you because it's very cold. I don't want to be exposed there for a long time. Chief sir, do we have to close this uh, temperatures over there before entering? Yes, of course, that is the most important thing. That is most important. Thing. Yes. Always while entering, we should have to close the temperatures. Okay. Then we should enter. All right. And always enter with the with the cold protection. Cold protection because the gate take the vacuum, and so within two or three minutes it won't open. Yes. And within two or three minutes you will be collapsed. Very and important, room. very important. And inside there is the alarm is also there. You okay. So familiar with this alarm. All right. There is a all safety thing is related. Now the science is supersonic. Yes. So you should know there is alarm system here. If you are stuck inside. Yes. There is alarm is there. If you alarm this one on, it will alarm to the everywhere. bridge and the everywhere. Side. Okay. And okay. So, so like uh, you said, like the, uh, like the chief said, this is the safety protection in case he gets locked. The whole accommodation will know that there is alarm from here. Somebody is inside. Somebody is inside, and we come and open, open the door. Okay, thank you. So, guys, I'm going to go inside just for a few minutes, and Chief is going to close the aircon for there that time. And uh, Chief, okay? Okay. Okay, thank you. So let's uh, just see what all is here for a quick while, quick, quick short trip, because this is my favorite place. Got all the beautiful ice creams here, and rest is all. Like packed meat, as you see, right, Chief? All packed meat. All packed meat. And same thing is on the fish room. Next Chief, fish room also. Only fish. Only fish. Is there. Only fish. All right. So as you see, there's a lot of mist over here. I'm going to not stay here for a long time, but you understood the point. And on that note, I have a question for Chief. So we'll ask him. So Chief, uh, this meat lasts for how long? Like uh, this expiry date is there. Okay. The, every meat in the box there is expiry date is there. All right. If this expiry the expiry date is over, so we don't have to keep. We have to throw it. Okay. How do you make orders on the ship? How, what 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 calculations you make? We make normally the calculation if the voyage is for two months is there or one and a half months is there. So we one and a half months is there, then we make a calculation for two months. Extend we take. Extra. 10 or 15 days provision we take, but we get anchorage or rough weather or delay or something. Correct. So always we have to keep something in our hand also. Okay, that was more or less all the provision stores we have. We'll ask the chief what is there for menu today. Right. This is called Shai Tukra. Ah, oh, wonderful, and wonderful. We serve tomorrow with some extra thing. We have a special menu for biryanis like all shit. We have yes. biryanis there. Yes. And this uh, potato item is there, then veg is there. Yes. And some different continental item for the different nationalities there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So right now, as you see, as as I have seen, they have all prepared everything for the Sunday. And uh, this is the veg dish, right? Ah, uh, this is the veg the dish. Veg. Uh, this is the evening dish we have. Dish. All right. French fries there, nuggets is there, Correct. hot dogs is there. Because it's fun day. Yes, because it is the fun day. Fun day. Sunday is fun day. Uh huh. Rehman ji, Sunday is fun day, yeah? Yeah. Always, yeah. always. Every day like is Monday, yeah? <laughs> for especially <laughs> department. <laughs> this is the myth. You see, just broken light. <laughs> correct, correct. Every day is Monday on the ship. Okay, guys. So, I asked you on Instagram what all questions I need to ask the chief cook. we we'll start that section and let's start with the number one question. So, chief, <laughs> first question I have for you is, uh, what all we have for vegetarians? Like, it, can this can vegetarians survive on the ship? Of course, there are very uh, varieties of items there in for vegetarians. And we have, uh, next time when we will visit to the veg room, we'll show you that the, not one or two veg items there. There's uh, 
at least 10 or 50 items is there for vegetarian special we have a menu for the veg every day we make vegetarian one for foreigners and one for indians also perfect so uh, chief the next question i have is you said something about menu so how do you decide the menu of the ship we normally have a fixed menu for like for myself i make a fixed menu for 7 days related to the different uh, foreigners I means different nationalities and sometime at the suddenly this menu can be changed also if some item is not available or some item is not defrosting so we we make alternate but we have every nationality we have a item for them okay so that is a very good point now i wanted to ask you like uh, this menu is fixed from merc or the company or is decided by you it's decided by me okay it's decided by you and sometimes we get the opinion from the crew also that they want to eat this thing or that thing so we prepared according to them also to make fulfilled to make happy to them perfect perfect so i'm sure you all must be wondering what is the routine of the cooks so i'm going to ask one by one from the chief as well as the second how the day starts and how it ends let's start with that i work around 5:30 i come to the galley and i first i prepare for breakfast after breakfast this goes on for lunch dinner and like this on Okay. And we got normally the break is from 5:30 to 1300. Ah, 12:30. 12:30 to 1500. 1500 to 15:15:30 is there, but I came 15 like 15:30 or 1500. Then again, our food start for preparing for dinner. Okay. And this uh, goes to 1900. 1900. So this is okay. Daily routine. Is daily routine without any stop. Any stop. No Sundays. No Sundays. We don't have any Sundays. or oh, holidays that is why i respect you guys because there is no days off for you and you have to keep all people happy, happy. you know so that is why i told you very important job on the ship of the cooks i'm going on this note i'm going to ask the second cook now that rema ji what is your routine like oh uh, same like chief cook uh, i'm coming for 5:30 in morning and starting to help breakfast preparing to chief cook and some my cleaning area i will clean uh then for 8:30 will be finished breakfast time then i go to clean for up uh, my area uh -huh. same, same same to chief cook duty time same timing uh, same that okay what are the struggle and challenges you face on the ship one of the biggest challenge that we have to make for the menu to make happy to everybody because in a hotel everybody uh, if you visit to a hotel also there is a fixed menu for every day but we don't have a fixed menu we have contract for 9 months so every day we have to change and we have to think every day every night that how to make happy to everybody and one person is not there one or two person there that is 22 25 person is there so we have to think about all the 25 person and like this goes on but we work with passion to make them happy from Beautiful. my heart Beautiful. but i know that i can't make happy to everybody but my from my side 200 yes. person is there to make happy to good make a good food thank you chief this was a really positive you see this is why seamen are very positive people you have to make the most of whatever you have limited things limited scope nothing to go outside so this is something which you will learn if you are going to join the merchant navy so guys that was the galley of the ship and the most important place also is where we dine in so this is our dining saloon and over here the good part is like all the crew sit together there is not like officer day room or uh, not officer dining saloon or crew dining saloon all the officers sit over here here and the crew sits sometimes they mix and match over here to enjoy our food and the food is always kept here so this is the hot plate below this is also all the if you can if you want to keep your food hot you keep it here this is the cold plate you can see the moisture as a uh, quite cold and inside this we got cheese and some more yogurt and over here uh you see all the cutlery and uh rehman the second cook also takes care of all the cutlery that everything should be in place also the coffee machine and the overall hygiene and cleanliness of the particular place and from here if we move on you'll see we've got one microwave and this is a very good equipment it's a juicer so if you keep orange over here and press down you can make juice for yourself and of course we got the fridge fridge has some uh, things which we can consume at night like bread milk some juices and cheese so this is 24 hours available and also one important one one hidden hidden locker i'll show you so this is where okay yeah you see that's the cup noodles we have as a, as a seafarer you feel hungry and the galley department closes at 1900 
so you cannot have anything so these cup noodles are something you can rely on or take your food out and keep it safe so you can consume it later like a second mate a second officer has to do something like that chief i have covered everything but the question which all the people mostly have before joining anything is like what is the salary of a chief cook on the ship of course in merchant navy the salary is very handsome yes and it depend upon the company some company give thousands some if the good companies there then range depend from 15 16 18 and like goes to 20 25 like this also so 2500 dollars till the is the is the range it's the generally 80 salary 1800 to 2500 1800 us dollars all right thank you chief and uh, rehman as a second in command how much is the average range uh, starting uh, 1000 Dollar to fifteen, sixteen, like that. Different company, different salary. Okay. Uh, second cook. Okay. Uh, same like. Perfect. It is luxurious, has money, but the struggle is very real. And like both of them said, there is no days off. Twenty-four hours work, three sixty-five days. On and that note, I will close the video. So guys, thank you so much for giving me your time. And if you all did like the video, then don't forget to. You have to say, Chief, subscribe, 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 and subscribe. share. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you.